There's an old saying about washing machines. They don't make them like they used to, except in Speed Queen's case where they make them exactly like they used to, and that's a good thing, mostly. The Speed Queen TC5003 is quite different from any machine you can buy. It's even different from the other Speed Queen washers. In this video, you'll learn about all the features of this Speed Queen washer, as well as a few features it does not have. you also see a comparison to the other Speed Queen models as well, as comparably priced top and front load washers. Let's get started. Back when I started selling washers in the middle 1980s, I sold Maytag. It was solid, heavy, dependable, and built incredibly well. Maytag was sold many years ago and is now an upgraded Whirlpool. But that same story is Speed Queen's today. Headquartered in Ripon, Wisconsin, Speed Queen is the world's largest manufacturer of commercial laundry equipment. Commercial machines universally are designed to take constant use and occasional abuse so that durability is built into a Speed Queen residential washer. Before you learn about the features of the TC5, let's look at how it differs from the other Speed Queen washers. The TC5003 has Speed Queen's Classic Clean. It's the system Speed Queen is known for with an aggressive 210 degree stroke and 60 strokes a minute. The other models use the newer Perfect Clean system. So the agitator is less aggressive because it's tied to the tub and uses the water rather than being tied to the motor like the TC5003. The Perfect Clean will be quieter to run and gentler in your clothes, but the TC5003 will provide a more thorough cleaning power. Speed is the key feature for the TC5 Speed Queen washer. In this washing machine, your laundry cycle clocks in at about 28 minutes versus an, almost an hour for most other machines. In terms of cycles, the TC5 has optional deep fill and rinse, filling the entire tub with water to achieve maximum cleanliness by completely saturating your clothes. And that's the key to cleaning in this machine, water saturation and aggressive agitation. It also has a durable stainless steel tub with knobs like the old dependable Maytag. No lid lock allows you to add anything to the wash at any time during the cycle. The TC5 has a full steel base with heavy duty springs for less vibration as well. Speed Queen offers six cycles for temperature selections with options written in plain English like extra rinse, heavy soil, or pre-soak. So in other words, the Speed Queen is designed if you disliked your front load with endless cycle combinations and possible vibration and mold problems. With Speed Queen, you get none of that. No mold, no vibration, no complicated cycles, and no electronics. The TC5 is offered with a five-year full warranty, just in case. Like some other top loaders, Speed Queen is also front serviceable, so it's way easier to fix, unlike a front load. However, none of that also means you lose in capacity and other features. The average front load is 4.5 to 5 cubic feet versus 3.2 for the Speed Queen. Front loaders have steam functionality to power out tough stains, auto dispensers to hold and dispense up to 40 loads of detergent, and Wi-Fi functionality to see what time is remaining and text you when the cycle is done. Speed Queen has none of that and probably never will. In terms of top load, Speed Queen is made better, fills better with the deep fill and has a five-year warranty, but is clearly more expensive than the average Whirlpool top load at $529. The hybrid or agitatorless top loads from Whirlpool, LG, and Samsung offer greater capacity and better features, but Speed Queen does clean better and is much easier to repair. Speed Queen's reliability is currently average to appliances in general, just under 10% in the first year. Right now, it needs more repair than other top loads by about 3%, based on 37,061 service calls logged by our service department last year. However, Speed Queen top load washers did have some draining issues due to high volume water discharge. Since the newer redesigned models were released, we're not seeing this issue any longer. Speed Queen will be reliable in the future because of some of the older machines were factored in last year's reliability. Remember, the unit is also, once again, much easier to fix as well with its front serviceability. With a front load washer, the machine has to be completely taken apart for four hour repair in some cases. 
If you're tired of mold and mildew in your front load washer, or just tired of front load washers, period, then Speed Queen is worth the consideration. With a better warranty, easier to fix with no mold and mildew. You do lose some features and capacity versus front loads and other top loads. And it is $500 more than a basic Whirlpool, so you do pay for that construction. However, it's a basic machine built to last with good cleaning power, but you do have plenty of other washer options. Click the link in the description below to download our free washer buying guide. And to learn more about popular units with in-depth comparisons of all the most popular brands, answers to frequently asked questions, and buying strategies to save you money. Thanks for watching.